morning, FHS. This is the Daily Roar for Tuesday, September 25th, 2012. Interested in winning a free t-shirt? Name five types of bullying that we listed yesterday. The first, homeroom teacher to send an email to Mr. Corbinson's after the end of homeroom with the correct answer, and the student's name will be the winner. Also in support of Anti-Bullying Week, there will be a kiosk in the cafeteria tomorrow where you can guess the number of jelly beans for a donation. Give it a try and you could win. There will be a meeting for all students interesting in the JV's men's basketball today at 12.30 in the coaching room above the main gym. Anyone interested must be in grade 9 or 10 to play. Any girl that would like to play hockey for the FHS girls hockey team this year should see Mr. Curry to get signed up. On Monday, September 24th, the Fredericton High School Lady Black Cats defeated the Leo Hayes High School Lady Lions 1-0 in girls' junior varsity soccer action. Grace Simpson scored the lone goal. Becca Baker and Patricia Sad shared the keeper duties in the shutout. The varsity boys soccer team will be traveling to Leo Hayes tonight seeking redemption and victory. The game kicks off with a 4.30 p.m. at Scotiabank North. Players will be excused from class at 3.15. Good luck. FHS Varsity Girls Soccer Team improved to 4-0 in a conference play with a 2-1 win over OHS on Monday night. Scoring for the Cats were Sneha Desai and Katie Stiles. If you are a grade 12 student and you plan on applying for a scholarship, listen up. There will be a 20-minute presentation today at noon in the Top Floor Teaching Theatre, C-127. The post-secondary institutions will be visiting this Thursday and Friday. Reach for the Top will be holding for Drive One, to, uh, Drive One for Your School on Saturday, September 29th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. in the F. Wynn District parking lot. Come and take a drive and have a bite at the barbecue. Everyone is invited to come out to the club extravaganza on Wednesday, September 26th. It's a great way to learn what's going on in our school. On that note, Miss Bellier is looking for helpers to run her table. Our club will be meeting Thursday in Mr. Bean's room. Everyone is welcome. That's Mr. Breen. Mr. Breen. A car show will be held Wednesday evening from 6 to 9 p.m. in the Prospect Street parking lot. The FHS Auto Club will be having a fundraiser barbecue. Please come out and show your support. A study and go abroad fair is being held at the Halifax World Trade and Convention Center on Sunday, September 30th. Students will be able to meet directly with top-ranked schools from around the world. For more information on what this expo has to offer, visit www.studyandgoabroad.com. There will be a table set up in the cafeteria at lunch on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, selling yearbooks for $55. You can also buy online from the link on the FHS website. If you buy online before October 15th, personalization is free. Remember, yearbooks sold out last year, so get yours soon. There will have been a number of thefts lately from both male and female locker rooms. Students are reminded to keep their belongings locked and their valuables at home. Students are reminded to use the student parking lot only. Students parked in other areas, including the district parking lot, may be towed at your expense. For students bringing their vehicles to school, you are reminded that you must purchase a parking permit from Constable Dix before the end of September. The cost is $5 and you can pick them up during non-instructional times. Free the Children will be holding their first meeting in C-138, Mr. Prescott's room, on Thursday, September 27th, at lunch. That's Mrs. Prescott. Reps from the Rotary International Student Exchange Program will be available for information today in the cafeteria. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at The Daily Roar Behind the Scenes. I'm Sam Phillips. And I'm Kyle Kajari. And this has been The, the Daily, Daily Roar. Roar.